What is up, guys? It has been said that Castle Sieges should be making their way into testing for Ashes of Creation Apocalypse this year, which only gives us about two months for that to happen. So before you jump right in, I want to talk to you about what exactly Castle Sieges are and the difference between Apocalypse and the MMORPG. But before we get into this, if you enjoy this video, please be sure to click on that subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications. Also, if you are interested at all in Ashes of Creation, feel free to sign up with my referral link in the description below. But anyways, castle sieges are meant to be these massive battles between two sides, one attacking and one defending. Intrepid's goal is to have a minimum of 250 players on each side, but would love to push this up to 500 players on each side over time which would be an impressive feat for a game running on the Unreal Engine. The environment is completely destructible and you will literally be knocking down walls and ramming dwarfs to succeed. In Apocalypse, from what we know, Castle Sieges will just be another game type to jump into the action, setting you up with a preset class kit, giving you the basics of some of the main classes in the game, allowing you to fight or defend the castle. But in the MMORPG, Castle Sieges are meant to be massive guild versus guild battles. There are only five castles in the world, and you will need a massive guild or multiple guilds to attack and defend these castles. Once captured, you will have a month of peace being able to build the castle's defenses. This will be done within the first three weeks, and in the fourth week, guilds can start declaring allegiances and picking sides if they want to participate. And based on how well it is defended is based on how well your defenses will be in the next siege. I won't be going into too much detail on the castle and their systems in this video as most of this won't apply to Apocalypse, but it is definitely something I will dive into in a video down the road. When fighting through the castle, attackers will have various control points that will need to be captured. These waypoints will increase the defender's respawn time and decrease the attackers if captured. But on the flip side, defenders can attack the siege headquarters for a similar effect. But the defender's goal is to basically push back and attack and survive the roughly 90 minutes it will take to siege the castle. I highly doubt these sieges will last that long in Apocalypse, but this is the testing ground for the MMORPG, so I'm sure at some point they will want to test the full experience. There are many types of siege weapons on the attacking and defending side, such as trebuchets, ballistas, and rams, and in the MMORPG, these items will need to be crafted and require certain materials, meaning siege prep will probably take quite a bit of time. In Apocalypse, there are currently two maps planned for castle sieges, which are more than likely to be taken straight out of the MMORPG, as they have done with the Battle Royale. Those maps are the Castle of Milnar, which is based off the Dunzinkel Dwarf faction and is built into the face of a cliff and has strong walls and underground tunnels to maneuver. And the other castle is the Castle of Korgon, a castle owned by the Aelin humans. When joining a match, you will choose whether you prefer to attack or defend, but if that role is not available, it might change for you to shorten up the queue times. Once you are in, you will select one of the six class kits to choose from, and once you're into the match, there will be a small amount of time to get into position and prepare your weapons, and then the battle begins. The attacking team will first try to knock down the walls and gates to gain access inside the castle, while the defending team obviously will try to prevent this from happening. Once inside the castle, there will be objectives such as killing NPC guard captains, locating and capturing control points, and destroying key strategic objectives to turn the battle in your favor. The defending side will be attempting to take out siege weapons and to capture the attacker's control points to reduce their spawn times. When you die, you will join a queue to spawn back into the battle, but will have infinite lives. Once all the objectives are complete as an attacker, you win. As a defender, stop the attack and outlast the timer and you will be victorious. Are you guys excited for Castle Sieges? Let me know in the comments and as always, stay tuned for a lot more news to come.